the brain is going to continue to do. Right. But if you train your brain to look for the silver lining, to look for the positive impact, then that is going to be the familiar thing. Right. So then it just becomes natural. Absolutely correct. And if you are doing it that way, then we go full circle back to vibration. And if your vibration is high and you keep it that way, it's you're much happier and those are the kind of people that you attract into your life. Absolutely. Right. So it it goes all full circle. So if you could if you could make a suggestion um to somebody that maybe is just starting out on a meditative journey that is exploring, uh, what would that suggestion be? And that's for both of you. Well, my, the gentle suggestion would be don't be too hard on yourself. Because when we're just starting out with meditation, we do self-criticize a lot. You know, I'm no good at this. I'm never going to quiet my mind. I'm, this, that, or the other thing. But the largely speaking, on a you know sort of broader scale, is find what resonates with you and works. So if you can get yourself into a relaxed situation um, by, like I say, going for a swim or going for a walk or whatever, as long as it's a quiet place and it's you know it's a quiet activity then do that. Don't feel under pressure to, you know, do Zen meditation or do this kind of meditation. I mean, I think it's good to explore all of those things, but when you find something that works, do it. Um, and do I have any other advice? You just, you just ask. If, if you don't know what to do, ask. What, put that question out there. What, what, what's, what's my way of meditating? Which way do you want me to meditate today? And, uh, yeah, we've been told we should do, like, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes before bed. But it's finding, just taking those steps towards it, doing it, practicing it, whether it's 5 minutes or 50 minutes, you get better at it by just doing, taking one step after another and being consistent. But suddenly it, it becomes so natural that you don't notice and notice and you don't you don't call it meditation time so to speak. It just it happens throughout the day for you whenever you have a chance to connect and to uh, re empower yourself so to speak. Mm-hmm. And you notice how like when you ask for something, so like, like Will said, you know, ask the source, ask whatever is you know if you're any type of religion and you subscribe to you know god some people are more comfortable calling it the universe that sort of thing um if you ask you will get signs and you just have to be paying attention to them um i know i've noticed in my life a lot when i'm thinking hmm i want to learn more about this or i I want this to be more in my life and i kind of put that out there energetically and next thing you know, somebody, you know, a friend mails me a book or <laughs> something completely random happens. It's like, okay, well, there it is. It's right mm-hmm. there in my lap. Right. I, synchronicity, I love that when you are aware of it. Something like that just happened to me on Wednesday, last Wednesday, and it was like, wow. If I wouldn't have known I, that those things happen, I would not have seen them. Yeah, and I, which is it just the other reason me why one... meditation is so important, mm-hmm. just so that you see those connections. Mm-hmm. Right, and it just and makes you wonder I would say, how many things you in missed. Terms of, you know, oh, sorry. It just makes you wonder how many things you missed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, and the other thing that I would say in terms of, you know, meditation in general and ter- advice is that we have trained ourselves in Western society that we can take a pill. And it works immediately. Um, However, holistic healing has to become a lifestyle. So what's really the most important is, are you doing something every day? Not just, did I go to a drumming meditation once a month? Mm -hmm. Because if you do that, then you're going to go, well, that didn't work. Why should I keep going? 
But, you know, really coming to a German meditation should be part of a broader lifestyle that you're creating for yourself. And it, for people who need proof what meditation does for your brain and how it can transform your life, there's a, there's a book that came out in the past summer. It's written by New York Times bestselling author Dr. Joe Dispenza, and the title is Becoming Supernatural. Uh-huh. I, yeah, Dr. That's Joe full Dispenza of is so cool because he's making everything that that people have known, uh, uh, all the woo-woo stuff, he's giving it all science-backed proof. I love him. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, it's it's very good. That's a really good book. All right, so it's, I can't believe it. it's already time for us to start wrapping up, but I would like you to, again, let's talk about our date and how people can find you and give your website and Facebook pages, please. Yep, so we're at strongheartdrummedicine.com. Um, you can find our calendar in there that tells you everywhere we, we are. Um, we're also on Facebook under the same name, Strong Heart Drum Medicine. And we will be in the next day or two, but definitely by the 1st of November, we will have the event set up. You'll be able to go directly to our website and book. You'll be able to book through our Facebook page. Or if they want to contact you, I think we're going to, you're going to potentially take bookings yourself as well. Yes, and then I'll report to how many we have so we can stay in line. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's pretty easy to book, pretty straightforward. Um, and then usually what I do is, you know, I kind of, I'll send out a reminder a day or two before and tell you what you need to bring or that kind of thing for people that have never done anything like that before. So it's $25. And then I think we decided... Was it 20 people is about as much as we can fit? I, I'm going to double check on that, but I think that that would be the most comfortable. But I'm going to kind of figure that out if maybe we can fit, fit a couple more. Okay. So, But um, I think when we... we get to 20, we have to start watching it, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for taking time out to be with me today. I really appreciate it. And I just can't wait for it gives me something to look forward to in December because I'm not a big fan of cold and snow, but having you here is going to be really something that I'm excited about. So thank you. Yes, absolutely. And the, the thing is as well that people will experience when they get there is, this is also in an enclosed space, and we have quite large drums. So you feel the meditation. Oh. It, it kind of vibrates right to your body. Right. Ooh, that's, and there's that's a lot of, really cool. A lot of beneficial things to that that we'll explain on the day. Um, that, Like I say, even if you treat it like a concert, you're still going to get some, some healing benefit from it because of the vibrational aspect. Excellent. And you guys are coming here in a couple of weeks to be on the devolution show. And I, I just, that's going to be really fun too. So I, I'm just so happy that I met you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you. We are good. Thank you, Deb. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Sounds yes. good. Have a great day. You too. Enjoy. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye-bye. you. So I'm telling you, these, these are good people and, I I love when things come together like that because it was so synchronistic that Kelly come up to me and talked to me that day because I would not really have recognized her otherwise at the Women to Women Expo. And so we were meant to be that day and meet that day. And um, the universe really orchestrated that. It's so funny, isn't it? I love stories like that. It's so, so what did we learn here? We learned about the power of music, and I just can't wait for this meditation. And like they said, you're going to be able to even feel it. So whether you're coming or going to any of their events, they're all over in Michigan, uh, for just purely 
curiosity, it's okay. You're still going to get benefits from it. And that's pretty powerful, isn't it? But that's how music is, and especially drumming. So I love that so much. So we learned about that. We learned about the importance of meditation. And like Ool said, if you're just consistent, it's like going to the gym. It's like any other muscle that you're going to exercise. Meditation does things in your brain and consistency really pays off. So that's another thing. He talked about that book. That's really worth reading, The Seat of the Soul. So please check that out. We learn something from every guest that we've ever had, and this one is by far no exception. Make sure that you save that date, December 1st, and spend some time with us here at 515 Adams Street. We have classes all the time, but I'm so honored that we can offer something like this to you. I thank Kelly and Ool Party for being with us today. Again, please find them at strongheartdrummedicine.com and by the same name on Facebook. So, today, make a difference in your life starting right now. You can change everything in one day, in one minute, in one second. Just the way you think, the way that you present everything. Hold your shoulders up and smile and spread joy because joy will come back to you. It's all karmic. You can start that. Any time you choose. And I suggest today on my birthday would be a really, really good time. Thank you so much for listening to Diva Dialogue. I'm Coach Deb and I'll see you next Monday at noon for another exciting episode. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Love ya. Diva Dialogue is brought to you by MindBodyAndSpirit.com and StrengthFromWithin.Training. Deborah St. Hilaire is available for personal and group coaching, speaking engagements, and in-house events. Follow her on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week. Remember, make every day a Diva Day.